Just a quick video update. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff before this coronavirus lockdown. Um, I bought two Chinese chestnuts, two American hazelnuts. You often see these in stores, Walmart, Tractor Supply. I'm sure Royal King probably has them, similar. Um, hold that thought right there because I'm going to show you something about those. I also bought some comfrey roots and I have those started here in a planter. It's been a pretty nice day out today so I've actually got them sitting outside. And these two Folger cans I have two green gooseberries and two red gooseberries. You're going to have to excuse the lighting. This is a, a Meyer lemon. And you can see blooms down there. There's actually a lemon right there started. Blooms there. Uh, I've actually posted a couple of different things on Instagram about this. It's doing really well this year it seems. And then over here is a lime tree that's not doing that great. This is my banana tree. It does have another start on the side. Bananas in Kentucky only fruit every other year, so you have to keep them going for two years. So this one right here, the larger one, will recover. It gets this bad every winter due to the lack of light, but it'll recover and fruit this year. And then this one will be its replacement. Once it fruits, the large one will die, and this will be the one that starts you know year one for this one the next year it'll fruit and that's basically how i do this now if you hold on a minute i'll take you into the kitchen and show you what i'm doing so when you buy these plants in these boxes uh i'm working on a hazelnut and another chestnut right there so they come in these boxes like this it's basically a plant inside of a plastic bag with a wire tie on it to hold the bag together. That, that wire tie retains the moisture inside the bag. But as they start to leaf out and grow, you have to replace the moisture in them. And what I do is I just take a large cup, take them out of the box, take the wire tie off, loosen up the top, and then I pour water in there until the soil's covered. What you'll see, maybe, is that out of the side will be some holes where it drips the excess water out. So once these get resaturated, I retie the wire ties. I didn't really fill that one up as far as I wanted to. I have to excuse my dishes over here. I try to fill these up so that the water covers the soil. So it actually goes above the soil because the soil will get pretty dry over time. But you fill it up There we can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it down in there, but the water level is nearly at the top of the soil. And by the time that it drains out of these holes, it will have given the roots time to soak up a lot of that water. See, this one's actually still got some water leaking out of it. You can kind of see there the dark line on the plastic bag. Now, if it doesn't drain out very fast, I still, I let them soak for a couple hours like that. Then I basically uh, pour off the excess water, put the wire tie back on it, stick them back in the box. As long as you keep doing that, you can actually keep these alive for a long time. I've done it with blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, goji berries. I've done it with all kinds of things. Um, over here are the boxes from the gooseberries. There's two green, there's two red, and the gooseberries are the ones I had sitting outside, sitting outside in the uh, 
Folgers things. I did that just because I wanted to get them back out there. I'm actually getting ready to plant one of the green and one of the black tonight. And I thought I better go ahead and get these trees and the other ones rewatered because it's uh it's been probably about two weeks since i did it last time this will be the third or fourth time that i've added water to these since early march and uh it had to have been actually it might have been the middle of end of february when i got these because i've pretty much been home since the first week of march and not left and it is uh april 22nd today um anyways I just thought I would show you this. If you buy these, make sure you keep them watered. Even if you're not going to be able to plant them right away, uh, get water in there as the soil starts to dry out. That'll keep them alive until you can get them in the ground or get them in a larger pot or something like that. So that's all I wanted to do is update you on that. And uh, thanks for watching.